All right, so pretty good gold making uh, and or Sons of Hodir rep farming strategy here. I think it's good for anyone, but it's especially good for engineers. So this is totally one of those things that you should keep keep to yourself and not spoil because it's going to be over farmed pretty quick. But what the heck, I'm going to share it here. So the spot is right here up in sort of north central storm peaks. You round up these little mobs called Library Guardians. They're pretty dense in a few spots, so you can find four or five or maybe more. Group them up. They have no ranged, so they round up really nicely for AoE. And the main thing that they drop naturally is the relics of Ulduar, which you can turn in for Sons of Hodir rep or sell on the auction house. Uh, and at least as of the making of this video, they still sell for over two gold a piece on my server. But, uh, you know, mileage will vary on your own realms. So uh, I mentioned this is good for engineers. They also have a chance to drop the Scrap E access card, which starts a quest to be able to learn to create the Scrap Bot, which is the new Wrath repair bot. Uh, and they also have a chance to drop the Bind on Pickup Jeeves recipe, which, of course, is the repair vendor bot that offers you a chance to access your bank. So other great thing for engineers, these are mechanical, so you can mine them after looting them as an engineer, um, usually for gray items that you can sell and occasionally for good items like handfuls of cobalt bolts and uh, blasting triggers, which again, because it's early here in the Wrath expansion, they still sell pretty good on the auction house. So I farmed this today for exactly one hour. Um, I had my loot appraiser running. I got the quest for... Um, starting the scrap bot super quick i got my jeeves recipe about 45 minutes in and according to loot appraiser i was using tsm region market average and exactly an hour i made just over 800 gold uh, it was one frost steel tube three overcharged capacitors 76 relics of old 33 handfuls of cobalt bolts and 37 volatile blasting triggers uh, and then tons, of course, of these low-value gray items, but they stack up and supplement your gold quite a bit. So all in all, a pretty good gold farm. Give it a shot, especially if you're an engineer. And um, uh, so it's it's amateur hour for sure with my video making skills. But if you found this helpful and you want to click the like button or subscribe, I really appreciate it very much. Thanks a lot for watching.